Namaste everyone. Thank you for joining me in today's practice. My name is Beth. Welcome. This practice will be a 20 minute of yoga to allow you to stretch your lower back if you suffer from back pain or sciatic problem. Yoga will help to alleviate the pain on your lower back. It's been proven for so many years that when you lengthen and tone those back muscles, it will help to relieve pain. Take it for what it is, come on with an open mind, and let's begin in our first pose. We're gonna come into a cross-legged, I'm using a bolster. If you have a bolster, you like to use that, by all means. I want you to bring the bolster underneath your bottom, Sit on the bolster and cross your leg. If you don't have a bolster, please sit on a pillow or on a block. Something that can prop you up because often at times we are round in the back. I want you to sit nice and tall. You can cross the leg, you can stack the ankle in front of the other and allow yourself to sit here. Allow your shoulders to draw away from the ears. Taking a big breath in and a big breath out. Allow yourself to arrive here on the mat. Allow your body to be present. Allow yourself to connect with your ujjayi breath. The ujjayi breath is more like an ocean breath. It's a longer inhale and a longer exhale. So inhale in, exhale. Again, inhale in, exhale. Each moment you inhale invites healing into the body. Each time you exhale, release the things that no longer serve you. Any worries, the pain, really connect with your body. Allowing your shoulders to drop, allowing yourself to come as is here in the present moment. It's important to tune in, scan the body, how are you feeling? taking a big breath in and a big breath out. From here, we're gonna reach the hands all the way up, being kind and gentle to your body, taking the time to now reach the hands forward. Now, maybe this is where you are, so quite okay. If you farther to go, just give yourself that space to now allow yourself to start to fold completely. You can flex the ankle and allow yourself to hover here. The key is to create the space on the lower lumbar. I will turn around, that way you can also see me as I position my mat, facing my mat, my legs are crossed, I extend my hands all the way up from the side body. And as I hinge forward, you can put a pillow underneath your forehead to surrender completely. You can continue to walk your hands forward, baby steps. I want you to breathe in and breathe out. Again, inhale and exhale. Noticing the cross of your leg, go a little bit more into the pose. Don't force anything, just allow. Continue to breathe. Continue to be where you are comfortable.
Now, when you have it, slowly walk your hands to the right side, to your right. Relax the head and neck. And walk your hands to the left side through the center, stretching out, noticing your shoulder, noticing your breath. Continue to focus on your breath. Then walk the hands to center. And then slowly walk your hands towards your body. Feel that length on the spine. Breathe in. Inhale, I want you to extend those hands alongside the ears. And we're going to twist to the left side. Right hand on the left knee, left hand reach down. You can put the left hand on the block. But my body's upright. Pull in from the chest, belly, and then look over to the right, left side rather. Draw the right shoulder away from the ears. Do not force the twist. Allow your eyes to settle and breathe. In and out. Drawing that right shoulder down. Belly pulls in, a little engagement in the core. Eyes soft, your face relax, a little smile allows you to take that twist a little bit deeper. Work on your breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, bring your gaze forward, notice your breath. Inhale, float both hands all the way up. Exhale. Bring the hands all the way to the right side. Lengthening, pulling from the navel, sitting up nice and tall. Allowing the back of the neck to lengthen, allowing the right shoulder to draw to the shoulder socket. Feel that engagement in the core. Breathe. In and out. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach both hands all the way up along gate. Exhale, bring the hands down. Now, I invite you to sit now on your mat if you can. You can bring the block ball stop underneath your knee. Often the time when we have tight hip or tight lower lumbar, it affects our hamstring. So Allowing yourself to drape the bolster underneath your knee. Again, body upright, pull yourself forward. Use the bolster. Feel that length on the back body. Draw the belly in. Keep the legs taut, pulling towards the facial muscles. And reach the hands all the way up. Feel the breath. Draw the shoulder away from the ears. Then exhale, reach the hands forward. Similarly, if you don't need the bolster, so with the knees slightly bent, you're able to reach your, your legs. Now pull the belly forward, chest forward, rib cage in. Exhale, start to fold. Maybe you put another pillow. That way your head can come to the bolster or to the pillow. Feel your body pulling yourself forward, opening. So you can have a tight hamstring and it affects the lower back. So this is a great way to stretch out and breathe. Making sure you're breathing, sending that breath to your lower back, lengthening.
Inhale, look forward to lengthen. Then inhale, reach both hands all the way up. Exhale, bring the hands down on the mat. Find yourself breathing. Bring the left leg back and find your breath. Bring that left leg towards the perineum. Noticing your breath. Remove the block and then bring the right leg towards the perineum as well. Butterfly pose. Inhale, look forward to lengthen, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. You can also sit on your ball stop to help alleviate any grounded on the back body. This is a very restorative pose. Reaching the hands all the way up. Exhale, fold. You are able to access the hip, allowing yourself to sit up. Notice your groin. Because when you feel that pain on the groin region, it tightens up the back. Now, connect with your breath. You don't have to go as far as I've got. I want you to be more comfortable and allow your eyes to close. Go within. Connect with your breath. Inhale, slowly bring yourself back up. Find that length, open the back body, body's upright. Finding those knees together. Noticing your breath. Bring the right leg straight. Bring the left leg outside of the right knee. Hug in. Another twist. Right elbow outside of the left knee, if you can. Inhale, left hand lengthens the spine, bring that left hand back and start to twist. If this is too much, back off. You can join the thumb on the right hand chin mudra, going within, maybe close the eyes, breathe in and up. Check in. Inhale, bring yourself back up. Counter twist on the right side. Keep the leg where they are. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Inhale, lengthen here. Exhale, bring the right leg over to the left. Find that length, hug the left knee in. Exhale, the left elbow outside of the right knee. Inhale, right hand pulls you up open. Exhale, the right hand back. Feel that length. Shoulder away from the ears. Push into your right big toe. Find that length on the lower lumbar. Don't force it. And just twist. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Hands reach all the way to the sky. Exhale, inhale, straighten that right leg. Now bend both knees to one side and come into hands and knees. If your knees bother you, put a blanket. Finding your shoulder, finding your hands underneath the shoulder, knee underneath the hip. Cat and cow. So inhale, we're going to mobilize the lower back, open the heart. Tailbone lift. Exhale, round. Push into those hands, thumb and index finger. Lift the back body, round in here. Inhale, lift the chest. Open the heart. Exhale, round in here. Feeling the chest lift. Inhale, drop in the belly, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, you extend. Exhale, you contract. Inhale, you lift. 
Exhale, you contract. Inhale, lift. Exhale, contracting. Belly to spine. Inhale, lift the chest, elbow lift. Exhale, round. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Come into neutral spine. Relax the top of the legs on the mat. Then exhale, go in. Drop to your hip to heels and sit on your child's pose. Similarly, you can put a bolster underneath your hip and heel to make contact. Then reach your hands forward, opening, lengthening the back body, and then folding completely. Connect back with your breath. Releasing any tension here. Inhale, back to center. Tuck the toes under. Maybe remove the bolster if you have the bolster. And press into your downward facing. So find your breath. Inhale, push into the thumb and index finger. Bend the knee. Hit the thighs back. Downward facing dog. Now, allow yourself to bend and straighten or turn it knee. Releasing any tension on the legs, the back of the legs. Making sure you're pushing the thumb and index finger on the mat. Similarly, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten the legs. Again, bend the knee, releasing any tension on the lower back. Exhale, straighten the legs. Again, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten the legs. Now bend the knee, releasing the lower back. Finding your shoulder. Exhale, straighten the leg. Bring the left leg outside of the left hand. You Maybe use your hand. Finding your breath, stretch out that right leg. Similarly, you can put a block on the right leg, back of that right leg, drop the right leg, keep the left leg bent, inhale, take the left hand all the way up. Continue to square the hip, bend that left leg, feel your right quads, and as you take the left hand all the way up. Relax the face, relax the shoulder. Exhale, release the left hand on the mat. Start to walk your hands a bit more forward. This is called laser pose. Extending that right leg back if you gain more space. Don't force anything. And then inhale, walk your hands towards your left leg. Tuck the right leg under. Lift the right knee, stay here on the hands, breathe in. Exhale, take the left leg back, downward facing dog. 
Relax the head and shoulder. If your mat is slippery, catch the edge of the mat. Lengthen the spine. This is a good one. Maybe you bring your head on the bolster and allow yourself to release tension on the neck. Straighten the legs. Maybe the, the heels come down. Work on your breath. Inhale, roll yourself forward into plank. Engaging your core, this is also important. Bring the right leg outside of the right hand. And then bring the bolster of the pillow on the left knee. Relax the top of that left leg, ankle is straight. You don't have to go any farther here. You can stay here on the hands. Then inhale, take the right hand all the way up. Check in. Your lower back, how is it feeling? Connect again with your breath. From the left hand to the right hand, open. Create more space. Shoulder away from the ears. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, maybe walk the hands a bit more forward. Back is flat. Breathe in and out. Exhale, start to walk your hands towards your body. Similarly, tuck your toes under, lift the left knee, remove the ball stuff to one side. Take the right leg back, downward facing dog. Walk the legs out and then start to walk your legs towards your hands. Just walk in mindfully. Walk your legs towards your hands until you can no longer walk. Feeling your back of your leg. Noticing your shoulder and finding your breath. Once you get to your hand, look forward to lengthen. Body is flat, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Clasp opposite elbow. Relax the head. The head is heavy and breathe in. You can micro bend the knee if this is too much for your lower back. You can put a block or pillow underneath your head. Release. Exhale, place the hands down on the mat. And then walk your legs about mat distance apart and come into Malasana, prayer squat, or Asian squat, depending on the school of thought. You can similarly, this is one thing is good, put your heels, if your heels are not able to come down, on a block, book, or bolster like I am. And then bring the hands in namaskara, prayer position. Use that to open the hip. Allow yourself to close the eyes. This will be the last pose. Just checking in how your back feels. Exhale, release the hands. And then sit on the bolster once again. And then slide your back, use your hand, slide your back onto the mat out of the bolster. The knee is on the bolster. Allow yourself to adjust yourself. And then allow your knee to rest on the bolster, palms open. And allow your back to rest on the mat. So the lower sacrum is on the back. Of them on the on the mat. Close your eyes. Again, I want you to return back to that intention to heal your back, to strengthen your back, and allow yourself to connect to the earth and release completely. Breathe. Breathe and release. 
Let your toes release. Let your fingers release. Allowing your back to make contact with the mat. When you have it, slowly bring your right knee inward. Rotate the ankle. And then hug your left knee inward. Just notice your back. And hug both knee inward. Lengthen. Rock it from side to side. That should also feel good. Noticing your back, how you feel here. Roll over to the right side. And gently press yourself to seated. Eyes is closed. You can sit on the bolster. You can sit on the mat. Arms open or closed. Bring the hands front of the heart as a gesture of gratitude, honoring yourself for showing up not only to pay attention to your back, to the healing of your back, to allowing yourself to be present and allowing me to guide you in today's practice. Thank you. Namaste. Guys, thank you so much. I enjoy to guide. I hopefully this was able to meet your needs for your lower back pain or sciatic problem. I send you healing and I hope you are well. Sending you love and light. Be well. Namaste.